Improper tailgate repair that killed 520 people. Japan Airlines Flight 123. Aero incidents. Prepare for a gripping exploration into the world of aviation, where danger looms and stories of tragedy unfold. Welcome to Aero Accidents, a captivating channel that delves fearlessly into the somber realities of aviation incidents and accidents. Join us as we unravel the untold stories that will leave you on the edge of your seat, forever changing the way you perceive the risks and resilience of the aviation industry. Get ready to be captivated by the extraordinary tales that lie within Aero Accidents. Step into a time capsule and journey back to August 12, 1985, when Japan Airlines Flight 123 embarked on a fateful mission. With 509 passengers eagerly boarding a domestic flight from Haneda to Itami, anticipation filled the air. Little did they know that the forthcoming open holiday would become the backdrop to a heartbreaking tragedy. As the clock struck 6.12 p.m., the plane gracefully took off, soaring into the twilight sky. But just moments later, a deafening bang reverberated through the cabin, shattering the tranquility. Panic ensued and the cabin pressure plummeted, forcing the crew to declare an emergency and desperately seek a return to Haneda Airport. With mounting tension, the aircraft banked sharply to the right, defying the norms of a routine turn. As confusion gripped the cockpit, a horrifying realization dawned upon them, the quadruple hydraulic failure. Amidst the chaos, the brave crew of Japan Airlines Flight 123 battled against mounting odds. As the effects of hypoxia took hold, their ability to comprehend the dire situation was impaired. It was a terrifying realization when they discovered the complete loss of hydraulic control. Adding to the nightmare, an amateur photographer captured an astonishing image from the ground, an absent vertical stabilizer leaving the plane vulnerable to treacherous motion known as a Dutch roll. Like a snowboarder on a halfpipe, the aircraft swayed from side to side uncontrollably. With no hydraulic power to counteract these forces, the plane also experienced a cyclical climb and descent. But as the flight progressed, the oscillations intensified, reaching dizzying angles of over 50 degrees in just 12-second cycles. Join us as we unveil the heart-stopping moments of Japan Airlines Flight 123, where courage clashed with the unforgiving forces of fate, and the battle for control became an uphill struggle against impossible odds. Like a fragile leaf caught in a relentless wind, the pilots fought to stabilize the aircraft. Their ingenious plan emerged, lowering the landing gear to reduce speed and mitigate the turbulent up-and-down motion. It worked. But a new challenge arose as the plane began descending during a right turn caused by uneven thrust settings on the engines. In a moment of clarity, the crew grasped the dire situation, and the captain's words echoed sternly, This may be hopeless. The plane veered ominously left, heading straight for the menacing mountain range. As the terrain approached, the captain ordered full power, desperately attempting to pitch the aircraft up and clear the mountains. Yet their success was fleeting, and thrust was reduced once again, aggravating the volatile up and down motion. With a bone chilling 40 degree nose up attitude, the aircraft swiftly stalled. In a final attempt to regain control, the captain recommended full power, and the plane entered an unsteady climb. Then a glimmer of hope emerged as the crew resorted to extending the flaps, step by step. They cautiously extended the flaps, but an unexpected consequence followed. A sharp increase in the bank angle beyond 60 degrees, accompanied by a gradual nosedive. The struggle for survival intensified with every passing moment. Hey there, if you're hooked on this video, then subscribe to Aero Incidents for riveting updates and captivating content. Don't miss out on the latest news, insightful articles, and engaging discussions. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments below. Your input matters to us. Let's continue. With their last shreds of hope, the crew fought to regain control, desperately retracting flaps and adjusting thrust. 
but time slipped through their fingers like sand. The aircraft had descended into an abyss of uncontrollability hurtling toward the unforgiving mountains in a final, desperate act. The engines roared at full power as if trying to defy fate itself. The captain's haunting words echoed through the cockpit. Well, we can't do anything now. In those harrowing moments before impact, the plane leveled out, ceasing its descent, but its speed remained daunting, almost half the speed of sound, coupled with a perilous 40-degree bank angle. The forces at play were devastating. Upon impact, the airplane flipped and erupted into a cataclysmic explosion. As night fell and bad weather enveloped the crash site, helicopters were dispatched for rescue efforts. Tragically, the crew of one rescue helicopter concluded there were no survivors and focused on establishing a base further away. It was a critical delay that cost precious lives. The morning brought the grim reality as the first rescuers reached the crash site, where only four souls out of the 524 on board were found alive. Countless lives had been lost in the darkness of the night, a haunting reminder of the urgency that could have saved them. Determined investigators set out to uncover the cause of this unprecedented tragedy, forever etching it as the deadliest single aircraft crash in aviation history. The wreckage of the ill-fated flight was painstakingly reassembled in a hangar, piece by piece. As the investigation committee delved deeper, they uncovered the true culprit behind the accident, a chain of events that had been brewing for seven long years. In 1978, an inexperienced crew executed a rough landing, causing the tail of the 747 to violently strike the ground. The consequences were severe. The rear pressure bulkhead had cracked like a lid on a pressurized can. Mechanics hastily repaired the damage and the aircraft was deemed fit for service once more. However, a critical oversight went unnoticed until the tragic crash of Flight 123. The repair work had been conducted incorrectly. Instead of reinforcing the major crack in the bulkhead with a twin double row of rivets, it had been patched with one twin and one single line of rivets, creating a weak link at the single rivet line. The relentless stress placed on the row of rivets during cabin pressurization caused the metal to stretch ever so slightly over time, leading to insidious metal fatigue a phenomenon comparable to repeatedly bending a paperclip until it eventually breaks. The consequences of this overlooked repair would prove catastrophic. These intertwined stories of tragedy and resilience underscore the unyielding human spirit, shaping the aviation industry with a quest for answers and a tribute to those who bravely faced adversity. And that's a wrap, folks. Thanks for joining us on this captivating journey. If you want more engaging content, be sure to check out our other videos on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your valuable comments. What other topics would you like us to explore in future videos? Stay tuned for more exciting updates, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.